That's cool. Uh, For Joey DiGiulio, it all started with a simple email. It was just random, sitting in my inbox. An email accidentally sent to him by someone he's never met. You had no idea who this was? Absolutely not. From somewhere he's never been. And I've never been to Pennsylvania. By mistake, the guys throwing a bachelor party in Philadelphia included Joey on their email string, mistaken for a friend of the groom with a similar last name. He spells his last name D-I-G-I-U-L-I-O. -I -I it's just one letter off. Joey sat in his home 3,000 miles away in Burien, wondering what to do, then decided to do nothing at all. There was like 50 people listed there, and so I was literally kind of, you know, needle in the haystack. A fly on the internet wall until this past Monday. The brother of the groom kind of corralled the troops and said, okay, guys, you know, we, we need to get the final head counts. We're getting close. So Joey fessed up. So I wrote back and I said, hey, uh, I don't really know any of you guys, but I've been kind of hanging out here just watching this proceed. And that's when the unexpected happened. I can't wait to meet him. I, I cannot wait to meet him. He's just a class act. Jeff Minetti, the groom, and his bride-to-be, Amy Lee, decided to invite Joey anyway. What the heck? And they told us over the phone they can't wait. We couldn't ask for anything better than for them to come out and, and hang out with us. All my friends are saying I should go. All your friends seem to be saying the same thing. You know, it just seemed to work. And everything I was hearing was, yeah, let's, let's make it happen. And so that's when we started up the GoFundMe campaign. Joey is now raising money online to pay for his trip and for a honeymoon gift. The goal was $1,200. And how much money do you have right now? Yeah, so last I check, it's about five grand. <laughs> He's a bachelor party crasher turned perfect party guest, all because of one simple click of a mouse and an open email. They say in life that you don't regret the things you do, just things you don't do. And so I click the button and, and this is where we are. Luke Ducey, Como 4 News.